Some people ask me to make a video about the danger of vegetable oils, so that it is. So I will make it not so complicated uh, so that the kids and children can understand. So if we, will, uh, if we, want, we want to be healthy, we probably should follow uh, an example of healthy people. It, it, as our planet, 7 billion people, and I would say not all of them healthy, and we have only a few examples of really healthy people. And one example, it is people who used to be, Americans used to be healthy 100 years ago. They, they have built the uh, great country. Some people in Bolivia, in Latin America, are considered healthy, and uh, Mal, um, um, <clears throat> Maasai, peop Maasai tribe in Africa considered also healthy people. Also, also as, um, as, as the inhabitants, as the people who live uh, in at uh, Pacific, uh, South Pacific Ocean in uh, these uh, coral islands, as well as uh, people in uh, Papua New Guinea. So, okay, if we look pictures of 100 years ago, we see that Americans were quite fit. And uh, beautiful ladies, uh, very uh, well-shaped uh, uh, men, and they were going swimming and having some physical activity and working hard. So everything was relatively fine for Americans. But now, okay, now we look at Maasai people, Maasai tribes, they live in Kenya, in Tanzania. They are really healthy people. Uh, they, uh, in, the, the soil is not so fertile in, in that area, so they cannot grow vegetables, or, and, but they keep cows. Cows and they uh, eat, uh, drink milk. Uh, sometimes they, they kill uh, the cows and to eat meat and they drink blood from cows. So they blend uh, blood uh, with milk and uh, drink it. So the, in total, they have a very uh, high energy diet, 3,000 kilocalories per, per day. It is, it is a lot, actually. But they are physically active. They are uh, they not accumulate any fat. So all the diet has uh, based in, on, on animal fat. 66% of energy gets from animal fat. And, uh, and, uh, and um, about half of this uh, fat is animal fat. Animal fat, it is from milk and uh, meat. Very little they consume of carbs, as a kind of uh, lactose, sugar in milk, and maybe a little bit some uh, vegetables they uh, manage to grow. And they are ab absolutely healthy people. So next, uh, people who, uh, uh, who can be considered healthy, these are people uh, on coral islands. They are uh, inhabitants of Tokelau Islands. Tokelau Islands, it is islands, coral islands to the east of, from Australia. These are small islands, and uh, so they have not so much soil to grow anything. So they go fishing, and they have coconuts. So mostly, uh, mostly they have all energy from coconut. So it is uh, more than half of the calories uh, gets from coconuts. And coconut oil uh, is uh, 90, up to 95% of saturated fat. So all together they are getting more than half uh, in diet. They, they have more than half of fat. And uh, this fat is about half of, of uh, 45, it, it includes 48% of saturated fat from coconut oil. And uh, then they have only little amount of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids from fish. Okay, and uh, okay, they eat also some starchy tubers and fruits. Here at some cartoon, we see the, the Moana, the girl from these islands, and you see that, it, that they uh, drink this uh, coconut milk and they eat coconut. This is the base of their, uh, their food, of their diet. Other uh, people who uh, can be considered very strong and very healthy, these are inhabitants of Papua New Guinea. What do they eat? They eat sweet potatoes, and sweet potatoes account for more than 90% of calories. So you see that it is not necessary to eat meat to, to be healthy. 
Yeah, it, or it is not necessary to eat coconuts to be healthy, but sweet potatoes ca can provide enough of energy. And uh, then uh, uh, the diet of these people is n almost 95% carbohydrates, very little of protein because they get uh, not, not so much fish and uh, meat, and some also very little amount of it. But these people are healthy nevertheless, healthy and, and strong. So this is a typical uh, picture of the market. They sell this uh, sweet potato. And as I reside in, in Thailand, I, as local peoples all also uh, grow sweet potato, and I would say they grow more and more. And uh, this is not yet replacement of rice. Rice is traditional uh, staple food in Thailand. But it is getting more and more popular because it is uh, delicious baked potatoes are uh, you can buy at, at, on streets uh, in Bangkok or anywhere and or in market uh, it's relatively cheap and good good food so next people who uh, can be uh, considered hel relatively healthy these people from Latin America and from Bolivia from Amazon uh, River and they grow uh, bananas and some uh, also some fruit, some vegetables, green vegetables, and they go fishing. So the base of their diet, bananas and fish. So they, they are okay, they're healthy, relatively healthy. But okay, but then we will look at Americans, uh, which are now 80% of Americans are overweight and quite high, man, high percentage is obese. So they suffer from uh, all the diseases uh, related to the overweight and uh, why why because it was recommended uh, to eat uh, to consume healthy and un polyunsaturated oils instead of animal fat and where do they get these uh, oils it is uh, fast food mcdonald's kfc all this subway uh, burger king and etc etc so which are cheap they uh, they produce uh, pr uh, the processed food which is cheap in, in America and easy, um, it, it can be uh, delivered, pizza and everything, so it is quite common. Also recommendations of uh, dietitians in America, uh, they recommend to eat, uh, to base uh, the diet on grains and consume up to 11 uh, servings of uh, grains and uh, bread and porridge and all the, all the uh, grain based products. And then some uh, lesser amount of fruits, uh, but uh, four per servings a day, and uh, some uh, vegetables, up to five servings a day, and uh, even less amount uh, of uh, meat and fish, and, f and uh, milk and dairy products. And they recommend to limit uh, a number, uh, amount of uh, fats, but it's actually not so. Not so, they get a lot of energy, uh, from uh, they get a lot of energy. Pardon, let me look. Uh, from uh, fat, so processed food in America, in in the you in, in the diet of Americans, includes vegetable oils, and they accounted for 32 percent of energy. Uh, sugar, next uh, source of energy, it is uh, pure. F I mean the uh, normal sugar, fructose syrup, and sugar, 21 percent and refined wheat, bread and pizza and all, all these uh, products from grain, 17% and real uh, uh, food, real uh, raw food, it is like fr fruits and vegetables are only 29% and it is also includes uh, meat and fish, only 29% of energy. So in total, the uh, processed food counting for uh, up to 74% of uh, energy in diet and uh, then it is absolutely not healthy because we can look uh, how uh, the amount of uh, vegetable oils consumed in, in America was increasing and uh, people changed from slim and healthy, uh, healthy body to obesity and to overweight. So, also, this was, uh, so if we see, if we compare consumption of saturated fat, it is stable or even dropping in time. 
and we have uh, the increasing amount of vegetable oil and then this, this uh, death uh, related to heart disease are increasing in time. Now it is a little bit dropping due to medical care, but yet it is very high uh, number of deaths uh, by heart disease. So it is certainly, we see correlation between consumption of vegetable oils and saturated fat, uh, and, and pardon, and the uh, heart disease problem. Okay, then uh, in total, scientific research demonstrates that vegetable oils, which are actually seed oils, cause cancer, disease, body fat, and inflammation. And this so-called vegetable oils, is, as I said, it is seed oils indeed, and then you can buy these uh, seed oils, and they are well um, packed, and they advertise it as a healthy replacement of saturated fat, and uh, then, but they are, they are actually really toxic. They are produced by industry at such machinery with, uh, which are uh, more like uh, oil refinery. So it is actually vegetable oil or seed oil refinery and with uh, high temperatures and uh, with the, the use of solvents. And then they call these uh, products healthy. No, healthy products is this. So it is gr from grass fed. Uh, cattle, uh, you get butter, you can get uh, beef uh, fat, it is towel. This is really healthy food, not this, not this. So okay, it's actually, uh, real, if you eat, uh, if you drink motor oil, I mean engine oil, instead of uh, butter, then certainly it is not healthy. Okay, in even 100 years ago, it was common knowledge that uh, Inclusion, if you include vegetable oils to, to your diet, then you will get all the problems. So this red, this red, these this two, two small reds were fed by some grain and with this at the right was getting 1.5% of energy of butter fat in, to, the, to the diet. And this but, butter fat has a lot of vitamins, especially vitamin E and A vitamin K also, while this red was getting the same amount of uh, bleached cotton, cotton, cotton seed oil. And you see that uh, it, it is of small size, it, is living, it was living only 500 days, and so it is equivalent to human age, uh, 50 years old. And this red was healthy and strong, and fully, fully active and, was, uh, and lived 1,000 days, which is equivalent to 100 years of human life. So we can c draw a conclusion from, from this, that seed oils are not for human consumption. Seed oils are for lubricants. Maybe it is engine oil can be produced from this, or soap, or some other technical applications, but not for humans, not for us. And so then you ha have also to uh, limit your junk food uh, consumption, junk food that is prepared with seed oils. It, it, it also includes uh, uh, products with a lot of sugar, like Coca-Cola and other beverages uh, with a lot of added sugar. And of course, uh, fast food is no-go zone. So don't, don't eat at fast food restaurants. Okay, then again, uh, what what should we do to uh, to be to stay healthy? We have to follow healthy diet of these uh, people who live. Uh, who I I I I gave the the pictures before. So it should be no refined sugar, no refined wheat, no processed food, and no vegetable oils. It is not so much uh, important. Do you eat? Uh, starchy uh, tubers like uh, sweet potato with a lot of fibers or you, maybe bananas also with a lot of fibers or your, ba your diet is based on meat so you can be healthy in every ca case but just get away from vegetable oils from refined sugars and uh, grain, grain and processed food. 
Okay, a, a few words about the uh, difference between uh, saturated fat and unsaturated, polyunsaturated fat. Saturated fat, it is uh, molecules which uh, are in uh, membranes of our cells. They are uh, like solid, uh, solid uh, sticks. All uh, bonds, chemical bonds are saturated and unsaturated bonds so that we have a double bond between uh, the carbon atoms and because of this double bond the molecule is flexible it can twist twist it can be twisted it can and then this uh, fats this uh, fats uh, uh, which are from unsaturated uh, fatty acid they are liquid at room temperature these fats are mostly solid at room temperature Okay, a few words about monounsaturated uh, fatty acid because it's only one uh, double bond, it ha has only one double bond, then it is relatively stable to heating, but yet I would not recommend to use uh, the olive oil uh, for frying and for cooking. You can use it in salads, but not for frying. And again, polyunsaturated fat. Uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, has, they have multiple uh, double bonds and they are very unstable to heat and, and our body actually cannot, cannot consume it, cannot, cannot use this an energy. The good natural, alt natural alternatives is palm oil and coconut oil. This is the most healthy uh, oils, natural oils. They do not have so, so much vitamins like butter. Um, but they are yet healthy because of uh, that they are saturated and th these oils are actually fruit oils. So there is a difference between fruit oils and seed oils. Fruit oils and this is um, olive oil, avocado oil, this is coconut oil and this is palm oil. These fruits, uh, these uh, fruit oils are okay for, for, for consumption, but seed oils are bad. Okay, so here is the, the table which uh, gives comparison of dietary fats or, and coconut oil has mostly uh, saturated fats and uh, very little amount of this omega-6 linoleic acid which is uh, considered not healthy, very little amount so that we can use coconut oil uh, for f to fry and we can consume coconut oil or we can eat coconuts, it is very very healthy. Butter, butter, even if it has less amount of saturated fats, it is full of vitamins. And also it has a considerable amount of omega-3 alpha-linoleic -lino uh, acid, which is good for health and this, we need this acid for our brain, our brain and uh, development. Palm oil, okay, we see that it has a lot of saturated fats. Uh, Larger amount this unhealthy omega-6 linoleic acid, so it is, um, of course, cannot be compared with coconut oil. And some amount of um, omega-9 oleic acid, which is uh, about the same like for olive oil. Okay, so it is, it is in principle okay to use it for, to fry uh, in uh, palm oil. Next is lard, animal fat, it is from uh, pigs, uh, fat of, from pigs, and it is okay, it is okay, it has a lot of this uh, omega-9 oleic acid, uh, and it has a relatively high amount of saturated fat, and just very, very little amount of this unhealthy uh, omega, omega uh, and, and it's relatively limited amount of unhealthy omega a six linoleic acid, this blue color. And again, it has uh, some amount of omega-3 alpha linoleic acid, which is important for brain development. So again, uh, for consumption, we, we can base our diet on, on this um, fruit oils, but yet we need some uh, polyunsaturated, uh, yet we need omega-3 uh, alpha linoleic acid it, uh, for brain development. It can be fish, it can be from fish, it can be from uh, animal fat. And, but all, all the seed oils, seed oils, they have so much of this unhealthy omega-6 linoleic acid. And uh, then uh, we, we also, even safflower 
cannot be considered uh, healthy. Why? Because again, what, what, is, uh, what is the difference between seeds and fruits? Fruits uh, are, uh, have no toxins. Seeds have toxins inside. Why? Because uh, we, every, by, every living creature at our planet try to protect their babies. But if animals can fight, can run out uh, from danger, uh, plants cannot do it. Plants cannot do it, and uh, then uh, the, uh, the animals and insects will eat the plants. But at least, at least, plants try to uh, save uh, the, the seeds, their babies, and they introduce some toxins to uh, with near the, the, the in area of seeds uh, to seeds. And we, if we extract uh, seed oil, if we extract oil from the seeds, we extract it together with toxins. And we cannot remove it, we cannot remove the toxins, and then uh, we are getting all the consequences to our health. Okay, and the, also uh, experiments, experiments with mice demonstrated that it is beef fat very, very healthy, and uh, mice uh, uh, that consume the same calories, equal, uh, the same calories as uh, in all these mice consumed the same calories. These mice were not overweight, they were active and healthy. But the more we get uh, the um, omega-6, unhealthy omega-6 uh, fat, the, the more is weight increasing up to that if a safflower oil was uh, blended with 1.4 only linseed oil, then we have the mouse which is suffer from obesity. So again, uh, safflower oil, it doesn't look so bad because it has so much uh, uh, that omega-9 oleic acid, which is for, for olive oil, and it has not, looks like not so much in comparison with uh, olive oil, uh, the, this unhealthy omega-6 linoleic acid. But it has toxins, it has toxins, and then it damages our body, it damages the body of any animal and um, produce inflammation and uh, all the problems. Okay, then also uh, consumption of soybean oil, which is very common in America, and it gives uh, this unhealthy omega-6 uh, acids, fatty acids, and in comparison with uh, more healthy diet, which is only 1.2% uh, of, uh, of this omega-6 uh, linoleic acid. Then uh, here we have healthy mouse and we can do detoxify this uh, little amount of this um, omega-6 uh, uh, omega acid. But if amount of linoleic acid uh, increasing, omega-6 uh, acids increasing more than 1%, that's already not healthy, our body weight is increasing, all the, all the, all the health is dropping. So again, a difference between fruit oils and seed oils. Seed oils are toxic because not only because of composition, not only because they have high amount of this unhealthy omega-6 uh, fatty acids, but because of to toxins are in seeds. So the rule should be no grain, no pain. So if uh, some, again, uh, the um, most popular grain in the world, the staple of the world is rice. But people consume white rice. White rice, it is rice which is uh, polished and uh, then the, the seed, uh, then the, uh, this toxin is removed together with uh, the, the brain, brain. And then it, it makes it a little bit less toxic, so it more, uh, it, it, it can be more, it, it can be consumed so you have not so much toxins, but you are getting carbohydrates. Carbohydrates you are getting without fibers. So if uh, you consume carbohydrates with fibers, it is like sweet potato. Sweet potato is, um, uh, because of fibers, the release of carbohydrates is, uh, is go slow and we don't have so spikes of uh, insulin in our body and the amount of glucose in our blood is not much moderated. So it is considered, it can be considered relatively healthy 
food, despite that, uh, that uh, even these uh, people from Papua New Guinea, they uh, all, almost all energy were getting from, from this um, sweet potato, they were healthy. They were healthy. So we should limit amount of refined sugar and the amount of carbohydrates which has no fibers inside. It includes rice. Of course, you can include some uh, green vegetables. Uh, in, in, in Thailand, it is quite common to eat rice with some vegetables, with green vegetables. But yet, I would say, especially uh, with children, children eat less and less uh, uh, these uh, green vegetables and more and more junk food and so many cases of obesity, obesity and overweight we see even in age like 12, uh, 12 14 years children already sick. Okay, so again uh, we see comparison. 100 years ago consumption of 1% of this uh, uh, omega-6 uh, fatty acid was relatively healthy, such amount of unhealthy uh, oil we can detoxify. Also, it was based on animal fat and also it was based, uh, the, uh, no seed oil was used. And now we have the seed oils, the energy comes from seed oils and the large amount of omega-6 fatty acids, but together with toxin. And together with toxin, it, it makes people sick. Sick, inflammated, and sick. It, it produces, and eventually it makes uh, people die from, from cancer. Okay, so if you was patient enough to watch the video, thank you for your time. Please comment, subscribe, put likes, and uh, ask questions and share information. It is uh, always uh, good support for me. And have a good day.